Good evening, folks. Um, sorry about the quality of the, the video. It's, it gets dark early at this time of year here in Scotland. My name is John Johnson, and this is a response to Cog Dog Alan Levine's call for stories, true stories of openness, nice things that have happened to you due to serendipity or the kindness of strangers on the web. I'm not going to tell you a story about my own share, and I've shared quite a lot on, on the internet over the last few years. I've blogged and podcasted and played around generally. Um, but a story of sharing by the, the children in, in my class and the, the stuff, <laughs> great stuff that happened because of this. Uh, back in uh, 2005, I was a teacher at San Diego Primary School. I spent most of my life, my working life, in, in, in that school. Um, and my kids were blogging and podcasting and in two th October 2005 my head teacher asked me to do something for National Poetry Day Hello, welcome to an extra special podcast Yesterday was National Poetry Day Sandy celebrated by writing a huge keeper's poem Everyone in school wrote a verse the Keeper's Verses are based on Phil Whitehead's Keeper's Poem and part of the Keeper's Project. Links to the Keeper's Project are on the school website. We recorded some of the poems we wrote. Here are the primary seven verses from Lauren, David, Carrie Ann, Ryan and Lucy. I keep my brother, I keep him in, but when he cries I lift him out. I keep the brains, I keep the jokes in, sometimes I shout them out. I keep the wisdom, I keep it in my head, often it explodes out. I keep the stars, I keep the man, often they twinkle out. I keep the baby, I keep her in, often she crawls out. I keep the sea, I keep its marvellous beauty in. Every glittering drop I regret I let out. So we published this stuff. Um, there was no Twitter in those days, but a few bloggers picked it up. We got some nice comments and things from different places around the world. And then um, I get an email in my inbox from a teacher in Georgia in the USA. This was Carol Fuller. And she was asking her permission to... Um, use the poems to for her students to write a play so we asked the kids and we decided that that was a good idea and stopped in um, and let her go on with it and after a while we, we received a script and we got occasional email updates about how she was getting on and it was really exciting and interesting for my children to, to be getting this sort of feedback, which is quite amazing just from sharing their, their work on the internet. And then um, we got a, a giant box. And this box contained puppets, a script, videotape of Carol students performing this. Uh, and my children were then able to go on and put this on as a, a, as a video themselves, to record themselves and to blog that process. As you can imagine, this is a, was a really exciting time for the kids. Uh, they had their, their work valued by somebody else to the extent that they, they you know, made all this stuff for them, sent it across the Atlantic and then they could produce this and republish it. In the midst of all this, Carol becomes the, the fairy blog mother of my children's blogs, commenting on their work and getting into conversations. And this is the the story within a story. So uh, one of my children, Kimberly Jane, one of the children in my class, has blogged a poem. So this is uh, Kimberly's poem. And she gets some nice comments from Carol and they start a conversation and veer on to Disneyland and uh, Carol's starting to tell Kimberly about the uh, event that happened on a school trip there and Kimberly comes back and writes a poem about this and they keep on talking on and on and they're talking about antiques 
and uh, Kimberly's gran gets involved and they're talking about uh, Kimberly and her gran writing a poem with Carol who finishes it off here really lovely now through lost years and thousands of miles the lid is lifted again by a different hand holding memories now instead of bread three unseen friends share a slice of words all nice and warm so Carol and I went on to uh, say work or play or whatever together or my pupils and her pupils did um, we did a, a, a poetry project where the, the, we posted a scroll of poems across the Atlantic uh, and continued the poems were started by one set of children continued by the other and eventually I actually took that one back uh, because I got invited over to an award ceremony that Carol was getting for the work she was doing and I had a great time uh, visiting Carol in, in Georgia um, seeing giant chickens climbing big boulders uh, meeting her husband, meeting Carol in the, in the flesh for the first time, visiting her school and learning more about what an amazing teacher she was, uh, or is, uh, working with the pupils in drama. Um, great lessons, great ideas, uh, and a fantastic time. And we're still in touch. Um, I think this is just, it's the best example I've got of the goodness that comes from serendipity through sharing openly on the web. I've had more, but that's this is one of my favourites. I could talk about it for hours, and I've already talked far too long. Cheers. <laughs>